Hello guys, welcome to Linux Joy channel. Uh, today we are going to learn about SSH server. SSH full form is secure shell. With the help of this server configuration, after installing this server, we can remotely login. We can enable the remote login. So let's get started. So I'm going to my server machine. This is my server machine. Enter. Control S seven. Control L. So I already open my terminal. So to install the SS server, we have to. In my previous video, I already configured the M server. So I am using this M command. This M abbreviation is hello dog update modifier. So m install open ssh package name this is for ssh server iphone y what is the use of this m server means when we are going to install one particular package it will select all the dependencies when we mention the star here it will select all the dependencies and it will install at a time so it started installation check the package package matching open ssh already installed checking for update okay It's showing that it is already installed and it is checking for the updates. Okay, maybe it will take some time. And okay, already installed is showing. So, after installation, what we have to do is already installed and checking for updates. Checking for updates. Okay. So first we have to enable the service. So for that system CTL enable SSHD. Okay, that means it's already enabled. Start the system CTL start SSHD already started okay firewall apply the firewall firewall i can see md i can pr mea mea tab okay sorry firewall i can see md iPhone, iPhone permanent, I think so. Tab, yes. Uh, iPhone, iPhone add iPhone service equals to SSH. Already enabled SSH success. Okay. Next, firewall iPhone, 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 iPhone reload. Reload. Okay, reload is success and system CTL restart. These are all steps when the package is not installed, so it's showing that it is already installed. So that's the reason I'm executing all the comments when the package is not installed. So follow these uh, steps to install the ssh server package so system ctl restart sshd it's restarted so now i am going to log in to the client 7 
so I am going to remotely login so for that SSH shift okay SSH and the username is root shift at the rate of I am logging as a root user and the host name is client7 enter so whenever you first time going to remotely log into in particular host it will give these indications the authenticity of see sorry the authenticity of host client t7 is and the ip address can't be established fingerprint associated something and these are the keys so are you sure want to continue connecting yes so what is the password you have to type here then only it will allow to log in you know the client 7 password so observe here so here the root user and the host name is server 7 but i am remotely log into the client 7 machine here you can observe so you can type who am i root okay login as your root and present working directory slash root also okay type ls so these are the files and directories which are <coughs> available in client 7 desktop client 7 machine client 7 system whatever it is and if you type control d the connection to client 7 is closed now you are back to your server machine so in this way you can configure the ssh server and you can remotely log into the client machine so this is the ssh server and thank you for watching my video if you like the video please click on that like button and share this video as many people as you can who are interested to learn into os7 and don't forget to subscribe my channel thank you once again have a nice day